Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the Source Code. My name is Deshaun, and today we are going to be looking at using some for loops um, for each and sort of what what you can uh, do with uh, all of them. So using for loops, um, they can get pretty complicated or they can also get, or they can be really easy. Um, all the code will be available for you guys on GitHub. I'll try to remember to put it up. I know I've been kind of slacking lately putting up the code, but I'll try to get it up. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. So let's just assume for, for this right now that we have an array of strings and to make an array of strings, you just say strings and then the square brackets, and then we'll call it animals and we'll say equals. And then we'll do swiggly bracket brackets and we'll say cat. Then we'll go ahead and say dog, if I can spell, and we'll go ahead and say elephant. All right, so now we have this array of strings, right? But say we want to go ahead and print th these animals out in our console, right? So if we do this, it's, in, it's gonna print them out, but it's not going to print them out the way that we want to, right? It's going to print them out like this, right? And even if we did like animals.toString, even if we ran this, it's still going to still going to do the same thing. So how would we print out each one of these animals? Well, what we can do is we can use a for loop, right? So we can go ahead and say, in, in most IDEs, you can actually just go ahead and say animals dot for, and it'll actually go ahead and set it up for you if you cho so choose to do it that way. But how a for loop works is you just go ahead and say for, open up your parentheses, what the variable is that you're looping through, in our case, it is a list of strings, right? So just think of this as a list. This array here is a list. We have a list of strings, and each string we're going to represent as animal. So now we can go ahead and say system.out.println animal. And now you can see that we're getting each one of our um, strings there. So that's a really easy way to do it. Um, so what the next thing we can do is if we go ahead and just erase this and we say animals dot four and you can see here that we're going to do a four uh, using an integer value. So we're going to be incrementing um, our value here. So basically what we're saying here is we have our initially initialization condition, right? So what we're starting at. And then we have our testing condition. So we're testing to see if I is less than animals that length and if it's greater then we're going to stop right and then we're going to add one to i or our increment decrement um so we're going to add one to i right so then what we can do is we can go ahead and say system dot out dot print line uh animals dot oops sorry not animals so we can just go ahead and say system dot print i and now if we run this you can say that we're getting zero one two because we have three items in here right so we have zero, one, and two. Remember in Java, um, everything starts at zero. So we're representing these as zero, one, and two. So if we actually go ahead, sorry, John, if we actually go ahead and say animals, and with this, we can actually do it like this. And we go ahead and say animals bracket I, since it's an array, we can go ahead and use the bracket there and we can get a specific value. So now we can go ahead and say, this and we get the same output a little more complicated this way if you don't necessarily want to do this way you don't have to but for whatever reason if you needed to do this way you could so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to use array list again and like i said we haven't really talked about array list but they're pretty much just a list of variables right so whatever you want those variables variables to be so let's go ahead and say we have an array list of strings and these are going to be animals and we'll just say a new array list so first off we got to go ahead and add some animals to this array list right so we got to go ahead and say cat and then we'll go ahead and say animals dot oops add dog and just to change it up so you know that our code is different we'll go ahead and say uh, lion and then we'll go ahead and add one more and let's just go ahead and add a seal okay so now that we have our array list of items 
we can go ahead and now loop through this. Now with array list, you can do something a little bit different here, right? So we can go ahead and say animals dot for each. Now this is new in Java 8, I believe it was implemented a Lambda expressions. So we can go ahead and say for each. And then now what we can do is we can choose what we want to represent each one of these as, right? So what our variable name is going to be. So think of it as just this animals here, but for each one of these individuals, similar how we did the for loop before, uh, we'll just go ahead and just say that each one of these is going to be called animal. Then what we're gonna do is we can, since if we were going to insert more lines of code, we could actually go ahead and just do it this way. And we can go ahead and do system.out.print and then we can go ahead and say animal. But since we're only doing this one thing here, it's actually going to say we can replace this with a method reference. And so we don't even need to say or give it a variable name because we're just going to only system print out this one particular line of code. All right, but say we wanted to do more here. Um, say we wanted to, you know, output a few items here. We can just go ahead and add some squiggly brackets there. And let's just go ahead and press enter. And then we want to just say, uh, uh, let's just say, let's just give, uh, let's just get a variable up here. We'll just call this int counter equals zero, just so we have another line of code here. And then we can just go ahead and say counter plus plus. Oops, and uh, let's just move this uh, up to here. So we'll just say private counter plus plus, private static counter plus plus, there we go. And then we'll just go ahead and add the counter. And now you can see there that we have multiple lines of code and it's going to be executed uh, every single time. So we can actually go ahead and say system dot 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 print line counter. And let's just switch these around here so we can make sure we're starting at zero. And if we go do this now, you can see there zero cat, uh, dog one, line two, seal three. So that's pretty much all I got for you guys today. Uh, again, I know these Java videos are extremely short, um, but they will be sh good for the future. I know if you're following the series right now, it can kind of seem like it's kind of dragging along and it's kind of boring. Um, but think about in the long run, when somebody comes back to these videos later on in the future, um, they'll be able to find these really short, very concise uh, videos to watch. So thank you for watching and I'll see you guys next time.